okay so now from this video onwards we will start working on our rifle so right here in the scripts folder we will create a separate C sharp script for rifle and we will add really advanced feature to our rifle for example our rifle will have a reload system our rifle will have a fire charge and we will also add muzzle flash or you can say muzzle spark and also we will add the impact effect so if we hit something right here in the environment it will have a impact effect and if we hit the enemy then we will show the blood effect okay this will be a really fully functional rifle with a reload system as well so first of all let's create a c sharp script by the name of rifle and then select player and inside the player body and then right here we have this tommy gun mesh just simply drag and drop the file right there okay so we have this script attached now let's open this up okay so right here let's remove that and let's add a header by the name of rifle and then in here we will create a public reference to our main camera so we will say camera and we will name it as camera as well but camera is a predefined word in c sharp so we will just use cam okay after that we will create a public float by the name of give damage and this will be basically the value that how much our rifle bullet will damage the enemy so it will be 10 units after that we will create another float by the name of shooting range and basically this will be the range of how much a rifle can shoot okay how far a rifle can shoot so that will be 100 units after that let's create a function by the name of shoot and in here what we will do we will basically shoot bullets using a raycast so let me give you some information about raycast raycast in, in unity is a physics function that projects a ray okay an invisible ray into the scene and it returns a boolean value so if a target was successfully hit by that ray then when that happens then we get some information about whatever we hit okay such as distance position or a reference to the object transform and we store all of that information in a raycast hit variable so let me give you an example that how we will use this raycast okay this raycast shooting so for example if this is our camera and instead of the camera you can use whatever game object you want but as you know that our camera face forwards so that's why we will cast an invisible ray from our main camera in the forward direction okay so for example if this is our camera okay then from this camera we will ray cast an invisible ray okay which radius will be 100 units okay so we will ray cast an invisible ray and for example this is our enemy okay just don't mind my first grade painting okay i'm just giving you an example so for example if we if we have this ray okay which is coming from the main camera and it hits this enemy okay so as i told you that ray cast give us information such as distance position or the object transform okay so we will add a if condition and we will say that if this ray cast hit something that is on the enemy tag so for example this is the enemy or you can say if that object is containing a enemy script then what we want to do we want to give that object this damage okay so it will basically give damage to this enemy so now let's do this encoding and see how this will work so as i told you we stored the information in a raycast hit variable okay so right here in the function we will create a raycast hit 
okay this will be this is the type of the variable and let's name this as hit info and inside this hit info we will store information okay about whatever we hit okay so now right here we will say that if physics dot raycast okay and right here we will first give a reference from which game object we want to raycast uh, invisible ray and in which direction forward backward left or right okay so we will say that we want to raycast a ray from the camera transform okay so we will say camera dot transform dot position okay and then in which direction we want to raycast a ray we will say camera dot transform dot forward okay and after that we want to get all of the information so we will store all of the information of whatever we hit inside this hit info okay so now we have stored the information and now we want to limit our raycast okay we don't want our raycast to just go for infinity range so as you know that we have the shooting range so we will give the range to our raycast and after that as you know for now we don't have any enemy so for now we will just show the show whatever we hit in our console so for that we will simply say debug.log and in here we want to see the just transform of whatever we hit so we will say dot transform dot name okay so it will basically give us the name of whatever we hit okay so now if we save this and then come at the top right here we want to add the update function actually so let me type update okay here it is now also we want to know that on which button we can fire and of course that will be the fire one button it is predefined in the unity buttons okay i will show you so we will say input dot get button down and if that button which is pressed is the fire one button then what we want to do the fire one button is basically the mouse left button okay and if that is pressed then we want to call this shoot function okay our code looks fine and clean now let me show you this fire one button in unity before going back to unity let's change this from camera to cam okay because as you know right here we name this as cam okay i don't know why i forget that but okay just change it to cam and that's it save it now right here if we click on our tommy then mesh as you can see it needs a reference to our camera so here is the camera let's drag and drop the camera in there now let's save the game let's play it now okay here it is now if we try to shoot something for example this container let's open up the console okay and let's try to shoot as you can see it shows that we the raycast is hitting this cargo container we hit it once now twice and three four five six seven let's hit something else as you can see we are hitting the queue now let's hit this container as you can see we can hit different objects Okay, we are hitting different objects so it means that our raycast is working fine okay we don't have any mesh collider on this one as well don't worry we will add the mesh colliders but now as you can see our shooting works pretty fine let me quickly add a colliders i don't know why this map is missing the colliders let's click on add component mesh collider I think we didn't have a mesh collider on this one as well as you can see so add the mesh collider that's it okay we have mesh colliders attached to the other objects let's add the mesh collider to this as well okay to this one as well mesh collider and there as well mesh collider that's it 
so our shooting now works and in the upcoming videos we will focus up on our rifle so catch you guys in the next one